Great Barrier Reef Travel Guide. As one of the original seven natural wonders of the world, the Great Barrier Reef holds a spot on every traveler's bucket list. Hugging the east coast of Queensland, Australia, the Great Barrier Reef extends from Cape York in the north all the way to Bundaberg in the south, more than 1,800 miles. With roughly 2,900 coral reefs, 600 islands and 1,500 plus species of fish, the reef leaves its 2 million annual visitors enchanted. But before diving in, it's important to get your bearings. The northern part of the reef runs from the Cape York Peninsula to Cairns, a popular home base for many reef visitors. Not only does Cairns provide the closest reef access from the mainland, but it also boasts a few attractions of its own, such as the Caranda Scenic Railway and the Cairns Botanic Gardens. Other sites like Hartley's Crocodile Adventures and the Wildlife Habitat Port Douglas are also situated by the reef's northernmost section. Travel farther down the coast and you'll run into the central part of the reef, which includes Townsville and the Whitsunday Islands, where Hamilton Island and Whitehaven Beach reside. And between the Capricorn Coast, along the Tropic of Capricorn, and Fraser Island, you'll find Airlie Beach and the only section of reef that has not been impacted by severe coral bleaching events. Wherever you decide to hang your hat, the Great Barrier Reef is a treasure trove of once-in-a-lifetime experiences. Whether you're gazing at marine life through a scuba mask, letting the tropical breeze unfurl your sail or taking in the reef from a plane, the possibilities for exploration are nearly limitless. What you need to know. It's big. Remember, astronauts can see the Great Barrier Reef from space. There's no way to see all of its 132,974 square miles in one trip, so create an itinerary based on your must-see attractions. Bring an underwater camera. Since much of your time will be spent below the sea's surface, consider buying or renting an underwater camera. The reef's waters are notoriously clear, allowing for spectacular photos. Follow responsible reef practices. The Great Barrier Reef is a World Heritage Site and there are strict guidelines for visitors. Read up on the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority's reef-friendly practices before exploring. Getting around Great Barrier Reef The best way to get around the Great Barrier Reef is by car or boat, depending on where you plan to spend the majority of your time. If you're on the mainland, renting a car is the best way to get to and from the attractions in and around Cairns. But if you're planning to spend your vacation on one of the reef's more remote areas, like the Whitsunday Islands or Lizard Island, then catching a boat is your best bet. Because Cairns is the tourist hub of Queensland, and a convenient point from which to explore the reef, many Great Barrier Reef visitors fly into Cairns Airport, CNS. Keep in mind, though, that you'll have to change planes in Sydney or Brisbane to get to Cairns from the US. If you're flying directly to one of the islands on the reef, you'll likely fly into the Great Barrier Reef Airport, HTI, on Hamilton Island. This airport welcomes flights from Cairns, Brisbane, Sydney, and Melbourne provided by carriers like Virgin Australia Airlines, Jetstar Airways and Qantas. From Hamilton Island, you can easily hop on a plane or boat to explore the reef's neighboring islands. Thanks for watch this video. Don't forget to subscribe this channel and see you next time on the other happy traveling videos.